day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. The anatomy of faith that I wanted to also bring into it is dealing with uh, Mark uh, 11, uh, starting with at verse 24. It says, Therefore I say unto you, What things shall you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, you shall have them. So there's the desire. That, and that's what I'm saying. Once again, the desire is another means of hope, the desire is another aspect of uh, the visions. It's going to be in your head. What are you desiring, right? But if you desire something, you visualize having it, okay? And it's, and I want you to make sure it's always important to learn that our desires is critical in the anatomy of faith. Our hope is critical in the anatomy of faith because you have to have a target that you desire, right? And I also want to put in there, one of the things that came out of the study is watch out what we're desiring because the enemy tries to substitute a desire that's given by God to a desire that is given by the world or by the enemy itself. And then just remember, once we have that vision, of because you, you don't want to come to God not knowing what you want. You don't want to walk by faith uh, without the knowing exactly what you have having faith in or for, right? So you want to have a, in your mind, you need to visualize the expectation of something good as you walk your life. So you want to visualize what's it going on in your mind. If, if, if the image is not what you're expecting and hoping for, that's where we want to, you want to spend that time through prayer, through meditation, toward the things that you want to be visualizing, not the things that you know you don't want to 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 have in your life if, if you see in sickness and you see in death if you see in failure that's it's that's why you know i think one of the key key components even when you're talking about praying is you pray to say lord i don't want a, the negative vision i want to pray for the 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 what i want what i want to happen in my life so you want to as you walk by faith have your desire critical. Have your hope critical. Be what your focus is. That's God. That's how we talk about as a Christian. Is I want to see the expectation. I want to meditate on the on the expectation of the good that I want in my life. And then when therefore when I'm praying to God, I'm praying for God to bring in. I'm telling you, man, to bring in what I want in my life I, if i want a job i want to have that vision in my mind if i want to have a, a relationship or if you're looking for a spouse or you're looking for uh, yeah if you're looking for a spouse or relationship you want you want to visualize the, the 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 good aspect of that life of that relationship same thing with your family same thing with your career you know, if you want to have a career, you want to visualize a successful career. And, and I mean, praying to God is to sit there and say, this Lord is what I'm looking for. And, and, and you show that in your mind and you, you, that's the arena of faith right there in your mind. Build and construct that which you want. Wake up in the morning, going to sleep at night saying, I have an expectation of good. And you want to make that come to pass, not the dreading, not the failure. You want to sit there and be able to tackle that situation and construct in your mind. Hey, I, I guess another word you can call it is a mind game. And therefore, in the anatomy of faith, I my mind need to be conditioned for the expectation of good. And then I want to come to God because I believe that's where he will move on my behalf as I come to him, and he's gonna move on your behalf as if, if your vision, your expectation of good lines up for where he's coming from. I'm trying to say, man, that's how Christians are supposed to walk, is to, to, to have in your mind daily 
the expectations of good happening in your life. You want to have that. And that's the battle. That's the arena of faith. You have your, is a battle of the mind. And in that battle of the mind, you want God's victory in your life. Amen. I'm telling you, this is, this is just a reality. And that's why it's an anatomy of faith. And then you want to believe in him. That's one of the things about the critical aspect of the data of faith is that my faith is in God and believing that God will bring to pass that vision that lines up with his will to come to pass in my life. If I want heal, I want to believe God is going to do it. And if you want to visualize that God is going to do it through medicine, God is going to do it through a doctor, God is going to do it just by your uh, receiving the anointing of his word in your life, that's what you want to do. And I'm telling you, said this is everything I've said is not something that is done just by <laughs> just by just saying it. It's 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 it is the the construction in your mind, putting the vision in your mind, and then focus on that vision of the expectations of good. I want to make sure you understand. You want in your mind the expectation of good. You want to declare victory, the expectation of good. You want to pray to God who is the one who is able, well able to bring it to pass and believing that he will bring it to pass. And then you shall receive in the from the spirit, the manifestation in the physical realm, what you pray for. And let's go back to it, having faith in God, having a desire, that is acceptable to God and then communicating that desire to God and believing and knowing that he will bring it to pass and you'll receive it. That's the anatomy of faith. And that's one of the things we want to do. And so in that key word is, and I just, we just talked again, is that desire need, that, that desire to me is that image that you want to bring to be manifest in your life, you you want to have the right desire. That's why people sometimes get depressed because their vision is focusing on uh, the wrong focus. And and you know that's uh, and people, the devil, the the enemy, uh, and people try to put a, if different images in your mind. Start even you know you know we even started going to school uh, when you first start going to school. You got, we got to watch out to some of the teachers who will give the wrong image and expectations towards you. When you know, and people too, they'll sit there and, and, and start speaking a negative outcome in your life. And that's why it's so important for you to sit there and remember you're not, people is not your source. People are not your source. Uh, your, the, the, the enemy is not your source. You want to say, Hey man, I, God is my source, and I'm, I'm and I'm believing and trusting in Him to bring to pass that which is good. But God is my source. You have to have faith in God, and that's what Mark 11, uh, uh, 22, start on 22 to 24 is talking about. God is my source. And one of the things I wanted to bring into the, the, the part about the desire, uh, it, and it kind of made me think about the, uh, the uh, James, uh, there's desire and then there's, there's lust. Uh, and, and one of the things about uh, the lust is, is, is here, I'll sit there and, and uh, bring it, it talked about in James 1.13, uh, it says here, let no man say when he is tempted, I'm tempted God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt is he any man. But every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lusts and enticed. Then look at this, when lust has conceived, it bringing forth sin, and sin when it's finished bringing forth death. I was looking at that because I, 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 when we first started off in that study, I was sitting there thinking desire is 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 the positive uh, uh, 
foundation for the anatomy of faith. And, and lust was the, what you call it, the perversion of the anatomy of faith or the opposite of desire. And I was saying, I said, man, you, if you, if you have a, you, 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 your, if your desire is out of whack, if your desire becomes a form of lust, then, then now the enemy is taking the anatomy of faith and going after and inserting a, a, a lust that is what we consider forbidden uh, uh, desire, such as, you know, if somebody is lusting after uh, 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 somebody from the office of sex, that they, 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 they're lusting and that strong desire and they want to go ahead and say, hey, you know, that, that's, that's what I want. And then that's what you put in your mind. But the problem is now you can't expect God to bring to pass that which is forbidden. <laughs> I mean, I think about it. Uh, that's why it's so critical in that of faith that your desire lines up uh, properly and not become something that is perverted. And because you know if it's perverted, you're not coming to God for it. You're not expecting God. The script, that's why it said, let no man say when he tempt, I'm tempted of God. See, God cannot tempt you with evil. So if, you, if you're if de you desiring or lusting for something that's forbidding, forbidding, it is not something that God is going to uh, tempt you with. And nor is it something that you can go ahead in that anatomy of faith, pray to God for to bring the past. Because he's not going to bring the past that which is evil. He doesn't tempt with evil, nor does he provide something that's evil to you. Amen? So the anatomy of faith is you have to sit there and make sure that your desire, and even if you're talking about lust itself, you don't want to lust for, for something that's uh, forbid, pro, pro, forbidden or forbidden uh, to happen in your life. I mean, that's, that's, that's if we want to sit there and break this day and make it plain, we have to make sure in the anatomy of faith, when we go to that word desire, that first aspect, if we break it down and have something come to pass, we have to, in our mind, make sure that that desire, make sure that that purpose does not be something that is a restriction by God, uh, but something that is in line with the will of God. That's when we walk by faith and that the faith has to have the hope, has to have the image, have to have the right desire that is that will line up and support the will of God. And I'm gonna tell you something. Most of you sit there and say, "Well, I, I don't. What if I don't believe in God?" Well, the point is that if you want something in your life, walking by faith. Now, the reason I want you to walk by faith and make sure you remember uh, faith in God is the fact is that. If you want to have, even if you want to sit there and do it on your own and have your own faith, you know good and well that you can't sit there and and have a have an expectation even from yourself to bring something to pass that's for, uh, forbidden. Because you're going to find out that there's a cost to it when you try to do something, bring something to pass on your own ability. And understand when you do that, can you pay the costs necessary to bring that to pass that you you have in your own natural ability to try to bring the past? You'll find out a lot of cases we our our ability having faith in ourselves is is just weak. So we we have to watch out for that. But I definitely want to leave with with this first part of Make It Plain is your desire has to line up with the things and the will of God and make sure that your desire, that you're respecting it and have faith in God bring the past, amen? All right, all right, we're gonna go ahead and pick up on the next uh, part of it. We'll make the next one be part of B, this, let's make this part A and, and let's make it plain. But man, we need to break that word, break that anatomy of faith down so we can find it every day life. All right, so I hope you uh, enjoyed this particular uh, segment, part eight, and we'll come back and uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and 
continue to break that word of God down. But I know it's important for us to apply that word in our life. Amen. All right, I'll check you later. And remember, we walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. God bless. In Jesus' name. See you later. Bye-bye.